I don't think this question is really as hard as it looks, but you can learn something really nice from it. Uh, I've got to work out the length of x here in this diagram. Now by Pythagoras theorem, if I start with a triangle that has uh, the shorter sides as one and the square root of some number, let's call it a, then the hypotenuse, well I square one to get one, I square root a to get a, then the hypotenuse has length the square root of one plus a. So all it is, if I've got one and root a, then the hypotenuse is just root one plus a, it's one larger than the number I started with. So when I look at this diagram, I've got the first one, one and one, so the hypotenuse is root two, and now I've got this situation where a is one and root two, so the new hypotenuse will be root three. Well, I've got the same again now with one and root three, so I get root four, and then all of these hypotenuses uh, keep going up by one, root five, root six, root seven, root eight, and finally x is the square root of nine, and of course that is three.